do this. Welcome to our guitar challenge. That's right. This is our Rock Like the Pros strumming rhythm challenge. I appreciate you all being here for this special challenge, both here to the everyone here on YouTube, everyone here on our uh, Zoom call. And the Zoom call, by the way, is for all of the VIPs or if you're a premium member, premium members automatically get access to this. So, uh, Welcome. I'm great to see everyone. By the way, we'll we'll stick here on the Zoom call afterward for a few minutes to hang as well. So, got a great challenge for you, and I want to give a shout out to Kala for sponsoring this challenge and giving us this array of guitars that we have for you all here in this challenge. So I'm really really excited about that. So, a lot of guitars, a lot of songs, a lot of lives, a lot of stuff going on. So. Give a give a shout out to uh, where we're at, <laughs> where we're at in what part of the world you are calling in from. Of course, I'm right here in sunny. Is it sunny now? It's a little bit still San Diego, and uh, here at the You Collect the Pros headquarters. And uh, you might be hearing some some noise in the background. My team's below me, around me, doing stuff, fulfilling orders for store dot rocklikethepros.com. I don't know if you know that, but you can actually type in store.rocklikethepros.com and, and get to our site as well. Again, I want to give a shout out to, to Kala for uh, sponsoring this event. If you didn't know, Kala does make some great guitars as well. And I'm going to be showing you some, and we're going to be giving away some guitars right here. Okay? One for everyone here on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, just taking this challenge for free, which is what we intended for, you're going to have a chance to win a call a guitar and then of course if you're a vip or a premium member you're going to have a chance to win a guitar as well i'm playing one of the uh, the cedar tops steel string call a orchestra mini guitar so right, let me know where you're at we've got a lot of stuff coming up i'm gonna let me get through some of the um preliminary stuff because i want to get to it we are getting closer and closer to um the Yukon. We're, we're still about over three months away and we've already sold, I think today's count was 105 tickets. So uh, our goal was to try to sell it out this month. So if you haven't got tickets to the Yukon Fest, the will right here in San Diego or virtual, youcollectthepros.com slash Yukon. Make sure to take advantage of it. I've added a couple more guests. Uh, I'm going to not tell you who they are yet. I'm just waiting on a couple of things, but they're coming as well. We got Daniel Ho. We got Chris Fuchigami, Danny Lucero, uh, Andrew Molina, Aldrin Guerrero, Plazi, myself, Anthony Stanley, his Hawaiian dancers, uh, Timothy Cruz, Jiggy with Viggy, Victoria. I mean, we got a stack lineup, food, trucks, uh, beer and wine this time, photos. We're going to do virtual as well. Anyway, yukeikethepros.com slash yukecon, yukecon, U-K-E-C-O-N. All right, can't wait to, uh, well, I, I can't wait because it's going to be a long way. We got a long summer ahead of us before that comes, but all right. Joy, the desert, all right. Wisconsin in the house, Chicago, Ohio, Maine, Georgia, <clears throat> Colorado's in the house, the UK is in the house, the Bay Area is in the house, New York, New York is in the house. So, Anyway, grab your guitars. This is a guitar challenge, right? We do a lot of ukulele stuff. I'm even wearing my Rock Like the Pros shirt for this one as we've been doing more and more guitar content, posting more on our social media. That's at Rock Like the Pros on Instagram, uh, posting more courses and songs on our YouTube channel uh, or courses on our website, rocklikethepros.com. Uh, videos on our YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed to all this, make sure to subscribe. It's been a channel that we, uh, we we haven't not done a whole lot with because we've been so focused on the ukulele, but we've been hitting it hard, especially as of lately, thanks to my team posting every day, putting videos out. We do have a brand new course as well. So if you like kind of the stuff we're doing right now, 
in this challenge, you'll like the new course that we did, which is an intermediate strumming mastery course that we have uh, that we just released, rocklikethepros.com. So welcome that. All right. So grab your guitars. We are in... Standard guitar tuning, E A D G B E. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the Kala down. This is an orchestra mini cedar top. And again, I want to thank Kala. I know I've said it already a couple times, but thank Kala. They really stepped up to provide these guitars. That's an orchestra mini with a cedar top. They also have this one in the spruce top and the ebony size and back. Same, oh, that's pretty. Same model orchestra mini. These are steel string guitars. And then also I have a travel guitar here. So these are really cool, especially if you're traveling. Really small body, almost actually it feels like about a baritone, a baritone body. And this one is the uh, K-A-G-T-R-T-R-V-S, travel guitar with a spruce top. Uh, what is that? What is that, Lawrence? Kind of looks like an acacia wood. Might be a mahogany as well, but um, anyway, cool little guitar, travel size guitar, but, but normal scale length here on the guitar. So anyway, thank you again to call that for support. And you all can win these guitars, by the way. What do you got to do? You got to post. Yeah, yeah, mahogany. It's a pretty. It's a pretty. Uh, a lot of a lot of variation for the mahogany, right? A lot of variation for mahogany. Um, all you got to do is post, post your songs that we're doing here up at the Rock Act the Pros forum. We'll put a link to that. You got to go sign up for that forum. It's a free forum to sign up for. You got to post videos up over there. Post your videos on YouTube. Copy the link from the YouTube and post it into the forum. And that's how we're gonna choose the winner of these guitars here. All right, so I'm really, really excited. Some of y'all are gonna walk out with some cool guitars. So it's nice to have great sponsors like Kala to, uh, to help this stuff out. All right, good. Let me see if I miss anything. I wanna get going, we're not gonna, we're gonna get going right away. Just wanna see if I missed anything. We got the Yukon. Uh, okay, good. Yeah, in our new st strumming course, we'll put that in there. Um, if you're interested, you want to become a VIP for this challenge, there's two ways to do it. You can just sign up for the VIP access. We'll put a link to that for you. Or if you just become a premium member, which we're having a, a special discount on it as of right now to sign up, um, which is actually pretty, <laughs> we don't give, we don't do a lot of discounts these days, but um, it's a nice discount as we're trying to grow our Rock Like the Pros channel. If you're a premium member, you automatically get access to this. The VIPs are going to get all the backing tracks, all the sheet music, access to the Zoom call, which we'll hang out uh, after. I actually was here before, but no one was here early today. No one was here early today. So it was just me and then me and Mari were hanging out. Uh, and uh, and then also, we're going to we're gonna have a chance to win the VIPs only, one of these orchestra mini guitars so yeah we got some cool stuff uh going on matter of fact uh yeah it's the cedar top or the or the spruce top all right we'll put links of all that there so anyway appreciate you all being here grab your guitars let's do this let's do this let's do this all right i will be putting the uh the sheet music up on the screen for us if you want it again the vips and premium members get access to that all right oh there's a form okay all right. Are we clear? Are we clear? You got to post. You got to get involved with this challenge. You want to win one of these guitars and I want you to win. All you got to do is post a video of yourself doing these things. It's not hard. It's not hard at all. Um, but you got to get involved in it. Okay. And that's how you, that's all you have to do to win is just get involved with this. All right. I'm just going to grab my Taylor only because I have the strap here and it's easy to play. All right. Grab your pick if you want, grab a finger, whatever you want. This is what we're gonna be learning. This is what we'll be learning today here on the challenge. Let me play it for you. I'm gonna play it kind of fast to get through it. And then uh, we'll start breaking it down.
All right, now this challenge, just so you know, this challenge is gonna be going over a bunch of different rhythms and chord progressions, right? This one is more of your pop, your pop rock progression. I call this the granddaddy because this is the most important strum you need to know as a guitar player and a ukulele player and a baritone player and a guitar lady player. It's also known as the island strum, but not really in the guitar world. Guitar is not so Hawaiian as the uh, ukulele is. I call it the granddaddy strum and that's what we're gonna call it today. Plus I wrote that little song for you, just a little chord progression. Not much, but if you're a singer or something, you could probably write lyrics to that very, very easily. So, um, all right, let's, let's, let's do this. Let me get it up on the screen here. All right, what's up? Let me say hi to, let me say hi to everybody real quick, actually, before we do that. So, uh, Dolores is here, and Elizabeth, and Mari is here, and, and Joy, Lawrence, Dennis, great to see you, and Lori G. So, thank you all for taking the time on this Tuesday. Tuesday afternoon. And by the way, my kids, my kids have their very first recital today. Uh, they just turned six about 10 days ago, no, two weeks, two weeks ago. And they have their very first recital today that I'm going to head on over after this to uh, see them perform at their school. They take, uh, they play ukulele in their after school band. So uh, they got a recital today. All right. And then don't forget all my YouTubers out here. Uh, and thanks for, uh, you know, thanks for signing up for for all this stuff as well. I do appreciate it. Um, what do we got? We have four thousand subscribers here on YouTube. It's not a we don't have a huge guitar channel, but we're growing it. We're growing it. So Susan, Chuck, Donna, Mary Beth, uh, Elaine is here. Appreciate that. Angela, Roger, Margo, of course. Uh, Guitar Laylee, Grandpa. All right, all right, cool. Uh, I think I know who that is. Uh, <laughs> all right, Kirk, Donna, yeah, Joel. Thank you all for being here for this. All right. Okay. Yeah, you should get a. You should have got a Zoom link to your. If you're already a premium member, you should have got a a, a Zoom link to that. So if you're a premium member at Rock Like the Pros, which I know some of you are. Um, you should be able to get that. You should be able to get that. All right. Let me see. I think. All right. Good. All right. Let me get this up for you. So we got this nice little packet for you. We just did it for today. And then the, the rest of the table, just do a handout. By the way, what we're going to do in this challenge is like I mentioned, go over different styles of songs. So today will be our pop, our pop rock. Uh, our folk, our singer songwriter, that's what today is. We're going to get into some bossa nova stuff. We're going to some country, some blue stuff, some Latin stuff, um, some reggae stuff. So we'll, we'll kind of mix it up for this challenge. It's not a total beginner challenge. So if you're just starting off, you can do it. You can definitely do it. It's going to take a little work. It's going to take a little work, but you can do it. Um, but not, not everything is geared for the beginner. We do have beginner stuff though at the website, rocklikethepros.com. We do have beginner courses and beginner material if you, you know, want to do it. But I do encourage you to push yourself. Don't stop, push yourself. You can get this, you can do this. Takes, that's all it is. Any instrument, especially something like the guitar, the ukulele, it just is, it's just that practice. And sometimes you got to feel a little uncomfortable your hands got to hurt just a little bit to, to uh, succeed and get better at this. All right. So don't worry about that. All right. Let's pull this up. Thanks to Mari for, for throwing this out here. Thanks for Alex for all the stuff that they have done to help prepare for this. Thanks to Pear for the killer, killer backing tracks that he did. So the Rock Like to Pros Ultimate Rhythms Challenge. I might be calling it the strumming challenge sometimes or strumming rhythm challenge. It's all, it's all basically the same thing. There you see me with my fancy vest on and my fancy strap and my guitar. That was at Balboa Park, by the way. All right. So we have our little, what's this about? Okay. So I, I've, you know, we're going to, we're going to go over this here, this challenge, right? These couple of weeks are really going to change your plan forever. It's going to teach you a lot about styles about control of your hands, about chord progressions. All right, so we're gonna get into 
rock and pop, reggae, Latin, blues, country. I told you all about that. This is a great way. By the way, this is a fantastic community. And it's nice that we aren't a, that big of a guitar community. So it's a really nice, small uh, niche community that we have here. So great place to learn, to practice, to challenge yourself, to try to post videos and get, get to know yourself. Um, we are giving away some of the Kala guitars I showed you earlier, and I'll bring those back out. So I want to give a shout out to Kala Brand Music. If you don't follow them, make sure to follow them at Kala Brand Music. They have a YouTube channel, they have Instagram, social media, all that stuff. All right. Uh, this is just a little bit about me, but let me take this off because you don't need to. You don't need to uh, see that. I can just tell you a little bit about me. So uh, I've been I've been a professional musician my whole life. That's all I've done. For my entire life, uh, was it's been a musician. It's the only thing I've known how to do. Uh, guitar was my my main instrument, although I did start on violin when I was a little kid uh, in middle school. But I've been a guitar player my whole life. Uh, went to school for good music and guitar, at San Diego State University. Got my master's at USC. Spent over twenty years up in LA as a studio musician, writing, composing, recording for TV and film working with some great artists from Josh Groban, the Weezer, the LA Philharmonic, Robbie Krieger, the Doors, uh, Christopher Tin, Grammy winning uh, composer. Uh, so I spent a lot of time doing that stuff, playing in bands, uh, playing gigs. I used to gig all the time, seven nights a week of the working musician in LA, made a career out of it. It was fantastic life. And then, uh, you know, so I have a lot of experience with the guitar teaching. I've taught at over 10 colleges, we released at least six or seven Rock Like the Pros guitar books. I uh, have a book, books out with uh, Alfred on guitar. I actually have a new book with Hal Leonard coming out. That's ukulele, that's a ukulele book, but that's coming out, it's gonna be released at NAMM, which is next week. All right, if you're all going to NAMM, let me know if you're going to NAMM. Uh, but anyway, have a lot of experience with guitar. I've been spending mostly the last six or seven years mainly on ukulele, but Guitar has always been there. Love it. It's my first passion. And so it will never, never go away in my life. Um, and so I'm here to share some of that knowledge with you here today and let you know that this journey is a, it's a, it's a journey. That's exactly what it is, right? We're not going to learn it in a week or two weeks or a month or six months. It's a lifetime journey where you continue to learn, continue to get better and better. There should never be a stopping point. Just always continue to get better. And hopefully the excitement, learning new styles should open up a new world for you. Okay, you know, maybe today's lesson is gonna be easier for some of you than others, but maybe when we get into some bossa nova or some Latin or some country or blues, that might be more your style, but doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, I'm, I'm just happy you're here. All right, so that's a little bit about me. Of course, I've been mentioning it. If you don't know me, we do have the great ukulele channel as well. You collect the pros if you uh, plan to play. And, and guitar, you can play guitar, you can play ukulele. If you play ukulele, you can play guitar. You can play baritone, you can play guitar lately. They're all really the same instrument. You just gotta get used to the different scale lengths, the different sizes, the different tunings. But other than that, if you can play one, you should be able to play them all. All right, let's dive in. I'm excited. By the way, post some, post some comments in the uh, in the chat if you need anything. And then again, we'll, we'll be on the Zoom call right after this with the VIPs. All right, so here it is. Here is our, this, we were using the granddaddy. What that is, is a granddaddy strum. All right, so this is a granddaddy strum. This is probably, this is the most important, not probably, the granddaddy strum is the most important strum pattern that you need to know. Let me play it for you right here. Oh, oh it is. Check this out. Down, down, up, up, down. this granddaddy's strum pattern down you can play literally hundreds if not thousands of songs 
once you play different progressions or speed it up. All right, is that important? Now, how many of you feel like you're pretty good on the granddaddy strum pattern already? All right, just raise your hand, throw it in the chat. Okay, good. And that's good because it doesn't, it's not going anywhere. It's not like, I got it, I don't have to worry about it anymore. It's like, it's always gonna be there for us, all right? So, I decided to do this, by the way, I just wanted to start off like day one with something that was doable for a lot of us. Right? I could have started off with something like, a little bit more challenging and we'll get there. But it's, I don't know, I wanted to feel like, let's just start something with nice. A lot of people should be able to get, a lot of people should feel confident about posting their video up there and kind of get us a good start. And then as we progress through the challenge, we'll start working on some hard stuff. But I did write this cool song, which I think sounds pretty good. It's actually, it's not really a song, it's more just a chord progression. But I was like, you know what? It sounds pretty cool. Hopefully it should be fun for you. Don't though, don't, uh, don't think though, cause you can play the strum pattern. Remember, there's a lot of people out there that struggle with this. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Because I've seen, I've taught plenty of beginners in my life. I've taught classrooms full of beginners learning. And although you get to a point where this strum pattern is easy, it still, it still takes some time to get used to, right? It still takes some time. Just the smoothness of it, the sound of it, the looseness of it, the feel of it. So many people struggle with this. So just do this with me nice and relaxed, nice and easy. Again, if you're new to guitar, this drum pad is down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down. Just listen to my voice, let's get, listen to the guitar. Let's get to the progression. By the way, if you not haven't subscribed yet to the, to Rock Factor Pros, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We are trying to build this up. We're we're far away away from our over one hundred thirty thousand on our U Collector Pros, but we are trying to build it up. And I know that uh, there's a lot of guitar players out there, so we can we can grow this community here. All right, let me put this back on the screen for you. All right, so let's look at, really it's just two parts here. You got an A part and a C part. The B section's the same and the D section's the same, right? So all I did here is I took this cool, cool chord here, the G. Actually, let me, let me just, all right, so yeah, so again, all I, all I did here was I just took this G chord and then I moved it down to the C at nine. Moving the first and second fingers down a string. Back to G. Won't we'll put in the strum pattern in a second. C at nine. Notice those two chords are essentially the same. The G chord and the C at nine, except for your first two fingers just go down a string. And it's just a great sound, all right? So if I add the strumming, down, down, up, up, now C at nine. Three times, it said three times there, and all right. Now we're gonna go right to a regular D chord. D sus four. All right, and that's the progression right there. All right, so if you struggle with that, just practice the G C at nine. G, don't have to worry about strumming it. C at nine. G, 
C high nine. Do that first. Those are whole notes. Try to speed up the rhythm a little bit, half notes. If that's it, you start with the chord notes. Alright, and then you want to add the rhythm. Down. Let's do the first two measures. G, C add nine with this strum high. Nice and slow. Two, three, four, and. Then the last part is going to the D chord. One time on the rhythm, and then D at sus4. And then you're gonna repeat the whole thing again. Now, with this strumming, okay? With this strumming, you wanna get real loose with the wrist here, right? I'm using a pick, you don't have to use a pick. More and more guitar players than ukulele players, at least, do use a pick for stuff. You want to use your 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 index finger That's fine. I guess you could use your thumb. Not used as much on guitar, maybe the index finger. I would be using a pick. That's going to give you a little bit of a sharper sound. bit more focus I just have a medium pick here it's not a very not a very thick pick just a medium nice pick for strumming this is the uh these are one of my favorite the Dunlop Tor Tortex I like these a lot although we do have our our rock vector pros and youth vector pros picks too which are which I enjoy but these these are my favorite for uh strumming just kind of this medium pick nice nice texture on it all right uh but anyway loosen up that wrist loosen up that wrist Loosen up that wrist. Do you strum with your fist closed? Do you strum with it open? Doesn't, which one do you do? Do you do more of a closed fist? Or are you a strummer that likes to have it? Fingers open. What are you, what are you? What are you, closed fist or open, open fingers when you strum? Uh, let me know what you are because really it doesn't matter i've seen them both i've seen great great guitar players do both styles so you do whatever works for you it's totally fine i tend to do a little bit of a closed fist but it's not i'm not killing it i'm not like clinching it just kind of my fingers are just there Helps me in there. There's that loose wrist, right? When we start speeding up the tempo there. All right, open. This, yeah, there you go. Close, 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 open. No death grip. Yeah, I don't want the death grip. Don't need the death grip. Matter of fact, you don't even need to really hold the pick that tight. At first, I'm sure you've experienced this as you as you started playing. You remember that I can't. The pick keeps sliding. It's always sliding everywhere. And, and then you find that you don't have to kill the pick. You just got to hold it nicely and keep that wrist nice and loose. Get ready to go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You can strum with your first finger. You know, the, the steel strings are a little harder on the hands than a nylon string, but, you know, but they're okay. A lot of clothes. A lot of clothes. Okay, good. All right. So let's see if we can do, um, and by the way, I have some killer backing tracks. So... This challenge is meant to be free. You want to just come to the YouTube with us, join us, love to have you. You're still going to have a chance to win a guitar, okay? So you're still going to have a chance to win. Matter of fact, we'll just, we'll just make the, uh, 
we'll make this travel call a travel guitar for you. So you'll have a chance to win that guitar. The uh, what is this? The uh, KA-DTR-TRVS, all right? And then if you want, and you don't have to, if you want though, you can become a premium member, join the VIP. We're gonna give you access to all these backing tracks and, and sheet music and, and have, have a chance to win one of the uh, orchestra guitars. Your choice, whatever works for you. But let me, let me play for you here. Let's do the, I'll put it on the screen here. Let's do this. I have a couple of different backing tracks. The slow one is at 110. Let's see if we can do, let's see if we can do the first two lines here. So the A and B section exactly the same. Just gonna play this three times. Here we go. Oh, hold on. I gotta, I gotta change. I, I have my computer muted because sometimes the YouTube here is not muted. And that's exactly, and it was not muted. It was not muted. All right, so here we go. Let's do the backing track. One, two, three, and. right there now if that's too fast you can just slow it down grab a metronome just do it even just if you're just doing it one two three and see at nine repeat one more time Us for now repeat is a D chord and all right, and then we'll go to the next part. So do it slow if you have to do it slow, use a metronome. How many felt that backing track actually too fast, even the slow backing track? How many felt that that was even a little too fast? I think I can have pair. I think he did this all MIDI, so I think he can give us get us a slower backing track. Okay. It was 110. It was 110. Maybe I'll have him do one more. One more, uh, one more back and track. Uh, I'll do, uh, what is that, 110 maybe? We'll do a 90, do a 90, all right. All right, now, let's look at the next part here. Where are we at? All right, so the next part now is gonna go to this E minor seven chord, and it's just, it's just C section here. So E minor seven. <laughs> New chord, grab it, open, one, two, those are the fingers, second fret though. A little bit of a stretch. E minor seven. To the C at nine. And then G for two bar. Repeat, E minor, seven, two, three, and C at nine, and G. Just join with me. One more time on the G. No strumming, or you can strum if you want. One more time, E minor, seven, C at nine, G. One more time. Now the last, next line there is E minor, seven, C at nine. Now back to that D. D sus four, yeah. And that's it. 
how cool do these sound these chords sound because you got to remember that all these chords have well, except for the d chord right but all these chords have this third and fourth fingers here so you get this real kind of drone because they have that they real drone it's very like it's got a very singer songwriter vibe it's got a very uh americano vibe to it kind of you hear this a lot in pop music you hear this a lot in christian music as well um so yeah you hear this you hear this all over the place yeah thanks dolores thanks for coming um but let's play this together Right, this is our the C section of it. But nice and slow. I right, just play the C section. E minor seven, C at nine, G. One, two, one, two, three. So give me, where are you at with that? How are you at doing with it? I always like a one to five scale range. Don't get it, don't get it too complicated. One to 10 or one to 20, just one to five. One, got it, or need some work actually. One is need some work, five is you got it. Probably the E minor seven, if it's new to you, could be a little challenging. Although it's a really important chord to get down, especially in this style, okay? Thank you, Mary Beth. Yeah, it's, it's not, I don't, you know, I. I I must have just did it yesterday. I was like, you know, because I wanted to keep this first, like I said earlier, day one, this lesson, not too complicated, keep it fun, keep it light. But I wanted to do more than just like two chords back and forth. So I wrote this little song. I was like, almost afraid it might be too long. Maybe it's too long, but you know, it just felt like a complete song this way. All right, you all crushing it, crushing it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So let's go ahead. Let's do. Oh, let me show you the ending. Let me show you the ending here. So the ending is just like the same as the beginning, the A or the B section, just like the top here, except for you're not gonna, you're just gonna do it one time, right? So just three times here on the G to C and then end it and then end right on the G chord. So it's really the same thing we've already done before. So I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit, shrink it down. I know it's small, but I don't wanna have to switch during the, uh, playthrough. Let's grab the slow backing track. All right, let's do the slow backing track. All right, so here we go. We're going to do it. Uh, what are we going to we, we should come up with a name for it. Somebody think of a name for this song. What we're going to do here, here's a granddaddy strum here with the backing track. A one, two, three, four.
right, all right. How do we do on that? How do we do on that? Yeah, yeah, the E minor seven, I think. I don't know if you heard that sound, but <laughs> that sound is uh, when they're boring, when they're boring a hole in the in the back of a, a guitar ukulele to put a pickup in. <laughs> it's not the most pleasant sound in the entire world, but you got to get through a lot of wood to get that pickup in. <clears throat> yeah, I think that that E minor seven is a bigger. It's kind of a bigger stretch than you think, especially because you got to get these fingers down. That's kind of cool because really it's, it's just like a G chord except for it's a second finger. Second finger. Yeah, kind of a cool thing. All right, now we're gonna speed it up with the, the faster backing track before we, we head on over to the, the Zoom call. But anyway, I just wanna again thank you all for being here. This is day one of our challenge. We're gonna be back on Thursday with a new a new style, a new chord progression, new backing tracks, new everything. And we're gonna take a couple of weeks here. We're not gonna rush this thing. It's not gonna try to cram in, you know, five, five or six live sessions in a week. We're going to take our time, do a couple of weeks here, spend some time, give you some time to work on these songs to uh, get through them and then feel confident enough to grab your phone. Or if you got something fancier, that's fine too. And, and record yourself, post it up on, on YouTube and then copy that link and put it over in the uh, Rock Like the Pros forum which is free for everybody to, to join that forum. So that will give you plenty of time, which will, which will be needed, especially as we get into the more complicated rhythms and strum patterns for them. Okay. All right. And then the other thing is, uh, as I mentioned, we're gonna, we'll play with the fast backing track. Make sure you get, get to the Yukon Festival. I don't care if you, uh, I'd love to see you here in person, come to San Diego, come make a little trip with, with yourself or with your family, beautiful city. If you've never been to San Diego, one of the best cities in the world. Uh, be August, be nice. Uh, we got a beautiful venue. The venue's inside. AC, um, food trucks, all the all the great artists for the Yukon Festival. We've already sold over a hundred tickets, and we want you to come. So come to that. Hopefully, come in person. If not, do the virtual ticket as well. It's going to be a so it's going to be a fun day, one day only, 12 to 8. We're not going to stretch it out over two or three days. I'm sure that would be fun, but that's a long festival. We're going to do a one day, do it all. It's going to be a day to remember performances. We're going to have a, a separate room for workshops. Um, we're, going to, we're going to all jam together. We're going to get big. I'm going to get all the artists to, to jam together as well. And uh, by the way, I keep, I keep on getting people calling me and asking me to, to come to it. So I'll still keep on putting more and more artists in there. All right. So what I want to do is I want to do the whole thing again. I want to do the fast back intro. Oh, I have two fast back tracks. Pear did one at 140. I felt like it was too fast. Just didn't sound very, very good. But so I did one at 130. It's going to be a little bit of a little bit of struggle. Okay. I mean, a little bit of a, a, a faster tempo here. Let me play it for you real quick. So you have in your head. Da -de -de -da -de. All right, grab your guitars. Let's do this. All right, so here's our granddaddy strum with the faster backing track. One, two, three, and. Hold on, something happened. Hold on. Let me start that. Let's do it again. I know what happened. I've, been, I've had this happen before. I know exactly what it is. Hold on. I don't know if you heard that. It was just a, uh, a, a buzzing sound. Anytime I have Safari open for this, that does it. So let's do it one more time. I, had to, I, I can't mute it because then I can't hear the back track. Let's do it one more time. Here we go. One, two, three, and.
right, there's your granddaddy's trap pattern with the faster backing track. All right. How'd you do, first of all? First, I want to put this down. I'm going to grab the, uh, the Kali guitars here. How'd you do? My suggestion, my suggestion is get it memorized. Okay, get it memorized. This is not a very hard or uh, what's the right word? Uh, complicated chord progression, right? So once you play it through time, you, your fingers should start getting the feel for it and your ear will get the feel for it as well. Um, so get it memorized, because then once you get it memorized, then you can kind of, you can get in the flow of the backing track a little bit more. You don't have to be so concerned with playing it perfectly for that. So, um, all right, before we get out of here, I want to again give a shout out to Kala, Kala Brand Music. They've donated these guitars for the challenge. We're gonna be giving away this cool spruce top travel guitar, which is really cool because it's only about the size of a baritone, but you have the normal guitar scale length here. That's just a, uh, <laughs> that's just a, an Allen wrench floating on there. And then for the VIPs, platinum members, and by the way, if you wanna become a, a VIP or join for our, 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 not a platinum, our premium on Rock Right to Pros, we'll be giving away one of the orchestra minis, the spruce top, which is this one. Boom, or the, the cedar top as well. So absolutely fantastic. Um, so anyway, hopefully, again, stay on YouTube if you want. Love it having you. I just appreciate you taking your time. If you want to get all the backing tracks and the sheet music, just become VIP for this or a premium member, which we're doing a huge discount on right now for uh, for that. All right, great job, great job. Let me let me pop over to the YouTube real quick. I had to I had to close something out so. Hold on. Uh, let me go over to my my YouTube here. It was Safari. Safari for some reason on my computer will sometimes create these horrible buzzing, these buzzing sounds. So let me go over here real quick. I want to see the stream real quick. And I do appreciate you all being here, taking your time. And we're gonna hop over to the Zoom call here in just one second. Oh, I can't get through it now. Now it's all. Now it's all the. Uh, doesn't want to get me over to that stream here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay. All right. So anyway, anyway, I appreciate you all being here. Great job. We're going to be back on Thursday. So stay tuned for the emails for that. We'll do another style on Thursday. I'm going to jump over to the, uh, the VIP. So anyway, great job. Get your video, do a video. Don't wait too long for it. Don't wait till like next week. Just get it done in the next few days, post it to the forum and, uh, or post it to YouTube and then put it up on the forum. And then that's how you that's how you get entered to win one of the guitars. So, okay, you all are awesome. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you for day two, which will be coming up on Thursday. So take care and uh, we'll talk to you later. All right, bye. Oh, actually, I can't say bye yet because I got to end it. So I got to end it on, I got to end it on YouTube. I can't end the Zoom call. I don't want to do that. So give me one second. That was a fake, that was a fake, a fake goodbye for you guys. Let me go over here to my safari. There we go. All right. There's the right channel. All right. So let me go back to this stream here. All right. There it is. There's my chat. All right. So anyway, thank you all for being here. There it is. All right. Good. Good. All right. So I'll see you guys. I'm going to end the stream here and I'm going to head over to the Zoom call. I'll see you all though on Thursday for day two. All right, practice up, we'll see you then. All right, so here we are. Sorry, it's navigating all this.